Life is for living, baby. And that's what this Leo new moon wants us to remember. So let's get right into it. So we've got a Leo new moon. This is happening on August 16th, 2023. This is happening at 537 AM Eastern time. So adjust for your time zone. The new moon is occurring at 23 degrees of Leo in 17 minutes. And yeah, this is, we're coming right off of a Venus Kazemi here. So you can see that Venus retrograde is now separating away from this lunation. And, but what hasn't shifted, and this is something that we've been talking about all Leo season, all Venus retrograde, is this square with Uranus. And so what we have here is an exact square with Uranus. So if you, if you're getting sick of me talking about Uranus and all these astrologers, this, you know, maybe, um, I think, I think something I've been seeing a lot in recent years as we have been working with a lot of lunations in, well, not just lunations, but we've been working a lot with the fixed signs. We're seeing a lot of repetition here. And the fixed energy, the job is to sustain and to um, make sure that a certain quality of experience endures. And so a lot of times we need to see the repetition from a planet like Uranus in order to really get to that point of the big breakthrough or liberation. So yeah, we've got this new moon in Leo in a square with Uranus. So there's definitely a rebellious quality. There's definitely like, <laughs> this is not a very quiet new moon, is it? So yeah, we're sort of doubling down on some of the themes that we've been working with, with this Venus retrograde in a square to Uranus under this new moon. So this isn't like a quiet, nor is it maybe a, a restorative new moon. Some of them are. There's actually sometimes a tendency for the energy to go to extremes with Uranus. So this may be a lunation where there's quite a bit of disruptions going on. Um, I know we've talked a lot about the sign of Leo and authenticity and needing to express oneself in an authentic way. And I've not been shy about um, talking about this on the channel um, because astrology is political. Let's get that right. It always has been. Um, and astrology reflects what's going on in the world. And so people sometimes expect astrology not to be political, but there's no way that it can't be. Astrology is neutral, however. It really doesn't take sides, but it is going to describe what is happening in the world. So we've been talking a lot about these drag bands, and I think that maybe um, this we might see something kind of come to a head here with um, this new moon in Leo, all about authenticity and boldness in this revolutionary square to Uranus. You know, Uranus says, take no shit, take no oppression. So yeah, there's um, that square going on there, but also in our own lives, um, where do we need to make some big, bold changes in order to be fully expressed in order to be ourselves and to be to be fully authentic what can we do to sort of break down some of the things that are getting in the way of living a life that feels more joyful and loving um sharing love with one another um receiving love from others uh to be to to be seen to be valued to be appreciated those are all things that are important for leo qualities so there may be some sort of um wall to be busted down here and uranus is going to hand us that chopping block uranus is not a chopping block um like a like a hammer it's going to hand us the sledgehammer we got to break that down um, so yeah, we're seeing sort of like a continuation of Uranian energy, but because this is a new moon, there's going to be a little bit of unrest, I think, around this new moon. So expect, you know, expect some eye, eye grabbing headlines that make you kind of raise an eyebrow, like what the heck is going on in the world? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the sun is in a square with Uranus. So that is going to encourage all of us to kind of like take some risks, do something that makes us feel bold, makes us feel like we're seizing the moment in our lives. You know, life isn't going to wait 
So do it today is kind of the message of Uranus. So yeah, the new moon is ruled by the sun in Leo. So we've got the sun in Leo sort of reinforcing those themes of being seen and authentic and authenticity. So yeah, that's a little bit about what this Leo moon has to offer. Like I said, it's a continuation. It's going to further encourage us to um, rebel against ourselves, rebel against societal expectations, rebel against expectations of others in order to be more authentic and to, to feel seen in, in a way that feels very true. So that's a little bit about the Leo new moon, and I hope it's awesome for you. And that was your astrology shot of the day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. Timing with Transits, my 11-week mentorship and predictive technique begins on September 21st. We're covering transits. We're covering perfections. We've got a blend of live and pre-recorded tutorials and ongoing support throughout the program. So if you want more information on that or you want to snag that early bird rate, head to my website, katherineurban.com.